Hi, I'm Ben from ICC Education, and today I'm going to show you how to connect your Tello drone with the Mind Plus desktop app. Once we've made sure that our battery is fully charged, we're going to slide it into the Tello drone. Next, we're going to turn it on by clicking the button once. Watch the LEDs. If it starts blinking orange, you're ready to go. If not, turn the drone to the side and press and hold the button for about seven seconds. Wait until it starts flashing orange as shown. Now that our drone is emitting a Wi-Fi signal, let's connect to it using our tablet. Navigate to the Wi-Fi settings and connect to the Wi-Fi network that's called Tello or RMTT. Once that's connected, we can go to the Tello app. Here, we're gonna click the settings cog, more settings, and then the three dots on the left. Now we're going to check if the firmware version is above 2.5.1.6. If it is, you're good to go. If not, just hit update and follow the steps. Now that we know our drone's up to date, it's time to download the software. Go to MindPlus download page, I'll leave the link in the description, and make sure we download the correct version. Let's ensure it's the desktop version of MindPlus, and it's above version 1.7.1. I'm on Mac, so I'm going to download that. Once it's downloaded, open it and run the setup wizard. Continue the install as you would any other application. Once the install is complete, let's open up MindPlus. On Mac, you might get a pop-up like this. All you have to do is go to Security and Privacy, General, and click around this area. Um, it'll be a button like Open Anyway, and that'll allow you to open it. Great, now that we've opened MindPlus, it's time to install the Tello functionality. To do that, we're going to go to extensions down here in the bottom left and press the function tab up top and find the box that says Robomaster TT Single. When we click it, you can now see that it says loaded, which means when we go back and we navigate to the function tab on the left, we can see all of our Tello functionality here. Unfortunately, to be able to code, we still need to connect our Tello drone to the MindPlus app. To do this, we need to first connect it to our computer. So we're gonna follow the same steps like from the start of the video, turning our drone on and waiting for that orange flashing line. And then we're gonna to go to our Wi-Fi area. On Mac, it's up the top and on Windows, it's down the bottom. And you're gonna to connect to the Wi-Fi network that says Tello and then a bunch of numbers or RMTT and then a bunch of numbers. On Mac, if you don't see it here initially, you might have to press the other tab and that'll give you some more options. So let's connect to that. Once you're connected, we can go back into MindPlus and go to this orange exclamation mark, which is above all of the Tello functions. We can click it and it's gonna scan for our Tello drone. And here we see our Tello devices. Now these are both the same. Uh, it doesn't really matter which one you click. If one has a stronger connection, feel free to click that one. We're gonna press connect and wait for it to connect. Once it's connected, we can now hit the cross and we can see this green tick over here, which means that it is connected. Don't worry about up the top here where it says no device connected, it is actually connected. So we are ready to use these tele functions to start to code. Woo.